in the last 30 days. These AI influencers made anywhere from 7,000 to 12,000 euros a month. And creating these high quality AI influencers is actually way easier than you might think. Which is why in this video I will show you how you can create your own AI influencer using only free AI tools. Let's get going. I'm going to show you two ways. One is more the easier and beginner way and the other one is the pro version. So the first one is quite easy. We go to Adobe Firefly and click the first link Generative AI for everyone. And then we go down to text to image here. Create with Firefly and here we enter woman with pink hair at the beach. It's generating right now. I want to make sure that photo is selected as a content type. So here we got some first results. I mean, it's, it's not bad. It could pass, but it's of course not this type of AI influencers <laughs> that really thrive on Instagram. And there's also some safety mechanisms in Adobe and DALI 3 built in. So if I want to type now bikini and sexy in here and try to run this again, we will most likely exactly gonna have a, an error mode. So they won't let us create some not safe for work images, I would call it. Also, another thing is with those Adobe ones is you can't create the same faces once over and over again. So every image I create has a different type of face and this is not good for an AI influencer. And this is where focus on GitHub comes in. You can find this on github.com slash Ilias feel slash focus with three O's. I will put you all the links down in the description below. And this program is actually really, really good. So it creates super realistic images of people. It's one of the best one out there right now. The installation process is not super straightforward, but I could manage it in 30 minutes. I'm not a coder, I'm not a programmer. This was totally new and also the first time for me. I have a full step-by-step -step installation guide down in the description below, so I don't make this video too long. But what you end up with is an interface like this. You have here the image that comes up. You can type in here your prompts. So woman with pink hair at the beach. Hit the advanced one. Here we can set the performance. I make this rather quickly with extreme speed. The style setting, we can also activate focus photograph, so it's also more photorealistic. The other one is also fine. The rest you can find here is mostly for different styles. Neo punk, origami, you can play around with this one. And then we can hit generate. Everything will be now processed on your machine locally. And you can see the first process, it looks way much more realistic than the other one we got from Adobe. But one thing where Focus AI is really, really good is, is creating images with faces again. So I'm gonna refresh here and hit down here, input image. And you can have upscale image prompt. And then I can have here another image. I already created one, looked like this was basically with a little bit more freckles and a little bit more details in the prompt, but looked really, really nice. And now we're going to open this one, click down here on advanced as well and hit face swap. So all the images that we create now, they will swap it out with this face instead of just a generic one that the AI will come up with. So we go now woman doing yoga at the beach. Advanced. Stream speed is fine, style. We want to make sure focus photograph is also selected and hit generate. And you can see now here in the process how the AI is working and modeling basically the woman with our face that we have down here into a woman doing yoga at the beach. And if it, I mean, I think it looks really good. And the other major thing, yes, you can also do, oh, it creates even two images for me now. And the second image is also ready. I mean, it looks really, really good. Just like you can post this straight on Instagram. And I know a ton of people will like the stuff. And you can see it's the same facial, uh, facial features of the input that we gave it. So I created some other images already and you see it looks really, really nice. And you can also use it for some not safe for work stuff. So I don't show this right now here, but there are some sample images I can show you that come really, really out. And I can see this going really, really good on Instagram, OnlyFans and other platforms. 
If you have any other questions, let me know down in the comments below. Um, all the links are down in the description. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe. It's absurd. But now you know and see you in the next one.